G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, long time no see. I thought today we should react to some great cricketing TikToks. Let's get into the video. Hamid bowling some heat. That reminds me of my batting career back in the cricketing days. It would often feel like my bat had a hole in it. This was smooth, ESPN. Smacked down the ground, they need... Oh my. Oh yes, what a catch. What an unbelievable catch. Needed the flick up. And only just got her feet off the ground before completing the catch. That would have been a six otherwise. That is an unbelievable effort. These blokes. Bit of, bit of moisture in the pitch. They're gonna ping the tennis racket at the bats. That's, oh my God. That'll take an eye out. I wonder how quickly that is coming off the tennis racket. Oh my God, he's nearly lost his head. He's nearly lost his head, the boys. That's an incredible contraption, though. I really do rate that. Warren Roast, awful WBBL oh, ball. That'll go again. The bowlers can't just accept, oh, well, this is the form of the game. You know, they just bash me. They just, what do they think, they're a bowling machine? Warren is a savage. There's another one coming. She bowls that sort of trite. That's buffet bowling. That's help yourself to whatever you want. She bowls that again, it's going the distance. <laughs> buffet bowling. She's been buffet bowling shamed. Shane Warren trying to commentate. Uh, just a couple of overs to go now until the tea break. Hopefully Mitchell Stark gets food poisoning. Now, personally, guys, at this point of the innings, if I'm Pat Cummins, the captain of Australia, what I would be doing is I'd be going up and coward punching Mitchell Stark. <laughs> All right, Binger, I think that's enough insight and analysis from you. So if you don't mind shutting the fuck up, I'm going to talk about myself for 30 minutes. Man, that is so funny. That is high-quality stuff by the young limousine. Um... Yeah, Warney. I love Warney. I'm a massive Warney man. He's the reason that I bowled leggies back in the day, but his commentary was a little bit negative over the summer. It's a little bit different when you're sort of 12th man, you're running drinks, and, you know, being 12th man for Steve Smith is probably a tougher gig than playing. <laughs> you know, he, he changes gloves, and I don't know if you've noticed, but he always changes gloves on the fifth ball of the over. Yeah. So never well, – he won't, he won't signal it earlier. Yeah. So, like, fifth ball of the over – and you're, it's about 13, 15 minutes. Very meticulous, Smithy. That's probably why he's one of the best in the world. But um, yeah, a little bit OCD with his, his preparation. These boys are the best. Shep mates, they always do the commentary of the cricket. They've been dominating. Starkey's uh, first wicket off the first ball. Shit, great cricketers never say. Damn it. Cricket training's cancelled. So you're hungover on a Saturday morning for our fourth 11 cricket game. Mate, we're playing six on the ladder. You can't be doing this. There's <laughs> no excuses, all right? Andrew Simons, Andrew Simons tackles a pitch invader. Andrew Simons is a scary, scary man. He looks really fit there at one of the all-time. Great bits of footage in cricket folklore is Simo flattening a streaker. What is happening here? Oh, it's hit him on the pads. Oh, that's great gear. Dwayne Bravo's song will never disappoint. This is the greatest Listen thing I had ever witnessed. JB calling Starkey's first ball. Off your trot, Burns! <laughs> that is so good. James Brayshaw is just one of the best commentators no matter what sport it is. He's just, his voice and his humor is so funny. We've just been sent the funniest video of the summer. Oh no. Oh no, that is a nightmare. That is a nightmare. Village cricket. That's funny, like Sunday league, village cricket. I think it's, um, all a bit the same, but that bloke has had an absolute nightmare. He's dropped an, the biggest sitter you'll ever see, and then he's missed one of the easiest runouts you'll ever see. He could have just walked up and 
taking the bales off. I once dropped an absolute sitter in a cricketing final. We went on to win, but it got spanked to me at mid-off, I believe I was. It was either mid-off or mid-on. And um, yeah, I just did not want to get my body behind it. So I sort of moved out the way and it pinged. It flew. It flew to me. I, I got out of the way, got my hands to it, and um, went straight through my hands, and it stung so bad. And I was just gutted, so I started crying on the field. I think that was under 15s. Not a good look. <laughs> the Barmy Army have unique, but some pretty good banter. I love the Barmy Army. They bring a good atmosphere to the game. Greatest catch in cricket history. Is that Bravo? It's a high ball. Man deep on the rope. It's not an easy catch. Oh, oh he does everything he can from oh. Weatherold. Who, who threw that to Jake Weatherold? I remember this a couple of years ago. Is that um Ben Lachlan to Weatherold? That's an unbelievable take. It's a great sound. Knocking in a bat is a great sound. Don't you think it's pretty funny that you've got to knock your bat in? Like, you don't have to knock your baseball bat in, but you've got to knock your cricket bat in. It's just a funny thing you've got to do. Match fixing or bad fielding? <laughs> he spooned that over the boundary line. That, that's got to be match fixing. There's got to be something behind that. Best save in cricket history. Great save. Save the six. It's incredible. Uh, incredible thinking on the on the toes there. What a shot. This pie is going in the sky. <laughs> he got bowled. You can't be getting bowled this by that. This pie is going in the sky. <laughs> He's had a Glenn Maxwell brain fade and left it right on middle peg. Jake Fraser McGurk's catch from the stands. That, that's an unbelievable take. Unbelievable take. Very exciting young cricketer, Jake Fraser McGurk. He hasn't quite got going in the big bash, but um, yeah, that catch was something to behold. Anyway, guys, that's it for my first video of the year. We are back. I've got some exciting pieces of content coming very, very soon, which I am just extremely excited to bring out. But until then, I'll be uploading videos consistently. Once again, guys, I appreciate all the support and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.